League Fields always knock it out of the park with their annual Miracle Ball. And this year, the celebration going next level with its choice for humanitarian award winner. This morning, I am joined by that honoree, the one and only Teddy Kramer and Tyler Bradshaw, executive director of the Nuxall Foundation. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. Thanks. for. Does it feel like you're just kind of like I don't you? have to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just here to observe. <laughs> I yeah. figured that was probably the case. <laughs> yeah. So, Teddy, I'm going to start with you. Okay. What does it mean to you to win an award like this? I'm happy and very excited to win this award. I'm very, very touched. Well, we are so excited that you're winning the award and okay. you are so worthy of this award. Right. What do you what do you look forward to the most that night when you actually get the award? I'll be in tears and emotional. Yeah, it's going to be an emotional night. Yeah, well, and yes. you know the the great thing about the Miracle Ball, it's it's always an emotional night. And I, and I think with with Teddy getting this award, Tyler, do you agree? It's just it's yeah. just going to kick it up another another level. I really think that. Yeah, I mean, there there is nobody who better exemplifies our mission of what we do at the Miracle League Fields than Teddy Kramer. Yeah. Uh, he has been so giving and and beyond what he's done for the Reds, for our city, for our community. Folks don't know Teddy has done so much for our organization. You see on the screen the benches he's donated to yes. our facility so people have a great place to sit. He comes out to every single yeah. event and greets everybody with a smile and provides such energy. And we've been waiting to honor him for a long time. We told him at Reds right. Fest right. in 2019 that he was getting the award yeah. and then had that little pandemic thing. And right. now we're uh, now we're back and, and really gearing up for an event that's going to be second to none. And it's a sold out house to see you, my man. <laughs> there are no tickets left for this thing. Do you know that? Uh -huh. <laughs> I, th I thought maybe you did. Now, now when an event like this is sold out. You know, one of the great things about it, that means you're raising a lot of money right. uh, for, for the Miracle League Fields, but there are other ways to help, too. Well, because I did, I spoke. I went to different schools. I speak about people who have disabilities. Yeah. I want to speak to all schools with Down yeah, and a lot and a lot of people know that you come out to those schools, and probably one of those kids you changed their life. They told mom and dad, yeah. maybe they're going to come out and enjoy yeah. that evening. Enjoy but it. for people who can't make it out, Tyler, what are other ways that people can can get involved, can help with the mission of the Joe Knox? Yeah, Miracle donations and sponsorships to honor Teddy to help our organization are always encouraged. So folks can go to NuxallMiracleLeague.org. Yeah, uh, you can donate there. We've also got a section for the Miracle Ball if you want to just learn more about the event. Um, but but yeah, for the folks who are coming out, it's a sold out crash sold out yes. quicker than any other event because of this guy <laughs> yep. four hours uh, and the tickets were gone uh, i don't even know if garth brooks sold out his I, show I that know. quickly you know you might be better <laughs> i than love garth brooks. brooks he's great i, I think love garth brooks, brooks too. Yeah. yeah we yeah. all love garth brooks um i want to ask today i got to wrap things up unfortunately here teddy in, in a minute but when you go out and you and you see the players out on that field playing a game that you love what does it mean to you when you you watch that happen um Enjoy and play. Yeah. Just all eat, play, just have fun play baseball. And watching everybody else get that chance to well, play baseball. Well, get play baseball and watch them play. Yeah. And I would encourage everybody to get on the website, learn more about the indoor facility that they are trying to build as well. Every yes. time they get ready to take on a new project, I think, ah, I don't know. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. They're biting off a lot right there. I don't know if they're going to get it done. Uh, yeah. Somehow you guys always get it done. Thank you. Well, uh, it's been, you, you've, you've been a big help in that, yeah. Bob. You and everybody here at Local 12 and right. coming out the other night and providing such energy at the dance party, that at the fun. fields and everything. I mean, it's just, uh, we've got good people in Teddy, good people in you. We're just so thankful. And my favorite part is when you and Tyler, when I was there watching you guys dancing, you went on the down the home plate and go down first base. The kids like to dance. Started dancing. You know, Tyler would keep dancing down the first base line. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to dance at the Miracle I like that. Are you up for that? That'd be cool. Let's go. All right. All right. Uh, it is 929. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in.